Hello everyone, we're going to take you through the clearance process on athleticclearance.com. So you're going to go to athleticclearance.com and click on your state. You're going to get a pop-up, go ahead and just close that out. Type in your email if you already have an account. If you don't, you can go to the bottom where it says create an account. And if you forgot your password, you can click on the forgot password and it will send you an email. For this tutorial, we're going to assume that you don't have an account. So we're going to show you how to create an account on home campus for your athletic clearance. So since you don't have an account, we're going to go to the very bottom where it says create an account. We're going to put in our first name up on the top. Please make sure to use the name as indicated on your school records. You're going to put in your last name. If you have a hyphenated name, you can put that in there as well. It makes it a little bit easier. Your email address. It's going to ask you for a password for this website. You're going to confirm that password. You're going to put in your cell phone number here. Um, and then on the bottom, it's going to ask you if you're a student, a parent, or a school administrator. So if you're a student filling this out, I would, have, I would put my phone number for a student or the parent phone number if it's the parent. You can see up on top it says verification has been sent to your email. So you go to your email and verify. And once you do that, then you can log in to the account. After everything is input correctly, you can go to the login box, click login, and it will take you directly to the clearances. Once you're on this page, hit the start clearance here on the right hand corner. Start typing in your school, you'll see a drop down. If you do not see your school, your school has not registered yet, please contact their administration. It will have the address. Choose the year that you are applying for. Choose the sport, it has drop downs. If you want to do multiple sports, you see that it says add sport here and then click submit. Now, once you're on this page, you can see that you're going to put in all of the information for a student. So for the student, you can go ahead and start putting in the first name and last name. Choose the grade level for the year that you selected above. You saw that I chose 22-23. So what grade will you be in that year? date of birth, month, date, and year, student ID in this spot here, you're going to choose a gender, your graduation year, and then you're going to put in your home address in the spots below. You can see that there are two lines in case it takes up too much space. Um, just put your address in here, it should fit. Make sure to fill in the city and the state below. and make sure that you put in the correct zip code. You will then input your home phone number into this spot here. Below that, it's gonna ask you for a mobile number. You can put NA if you don't have one. You can also click the box that you wanna get text messages. You're gonna put in a student email address on the bottom. Now in this spot here, you're going to put if you are covered by insurance. If you choose yes, then you're going to put the insurance company and insurance number in the boxes. And then choose whether you have a primary physician, uh, physician phone number or a preferred hospital. If you don't have insurance, just click no. And then down here on the bottom, this is very important. If you've never attended another uh, different high school, you click the top one. If you're entering as a ninth grader, you click the other one. Uh, if you are coming from a different high school, then there's a box for that as well. On this screen here, this is for your parent guardian. So you can see parent one and parent two up on top. So for parent one or guardian one, you're going to put in their first name, last name, and phone number. You can see that there is an NA if you don't have a cell phone number for them. You're going to put in their, G, their email account in this area here. And then student is living with, you can choose parent one, parent two, or both parents. Emergency contact is gonna go into this spot. It's important that you do this correctly because if there is an emergency, this will be the person um, that is next to be contacted. And then what is that relation of that person to you? Contact phone number, please make sure again that it is correct because it is important that we have the correct number when we try to call this person in an emergency. If you would like to receive information from NCSA, which is a recruiting process, then click yes. If not, press no. The form will ask you for parent guardian number two if you have information for them. 
put it in. If not, hit the NA and it'll take you to the next screen once you press save and continue. This screen here will take you through medical questions. You're gonna read each one of them carefully and choose yes or no. Um, and on some of the questions, it will ask you if you choose yes to give additional information. So read those carefully. You're gonna move down here to the bottom once you're done and press save and continue. Now here it asks, what school did you attend last year? So put in that school there, save and continue. And now you'll be taken to the signatures page. This signatures page has CIF Southern Section Code of Conduct. It has CIF State Concussion Information Sheet. All of these need to be completed and filled out by the student and by the parent. So the one thing you do need to know is that the name that was used in the original signup needs to be the same name that the student uses when they are signing in. And the parent's name has to be one of the two parents that were in the original sign up page. So make sure that those are spelled correctly, identical to what they were when you originally put them on the other pages when you first started. If not, it'll take you through and have you do them again. You can see there's also information about sudden cardiac, um, heat illness. Uh, feel free to read through these as you go through uh, so you have additional information. If you don't have that information, schools will have additional information for these sheets for you. You can also come back to this process and be able to read them online. You can see there is a download button over on the right hand side for each one so you can download those as well as you start to do this. You still have a few more things to fill out, an athletic code, an athletic contract, um, transfer eligibility form. If you are a transfer, there's some additional paperwork. Please see your athletic office for that information. You're gonna see a waiver release um, agreement here. Both need to be signed by student and parent. And then a statement of consent that only needs to be signed by the parent. There's also a photo release form for the student while they're playing athletics. Once you are done with that, choose save and continue. Now for this page, there is a downloadable file for the physical if you wanna download it and print it out. If you have a physical, you can press the button there and you can upload that physical by clicking browse and find it on your laptop. Or if you are completely done and you're gonna do a physical that will be uploaded by the athletic office later, you are finished. Mm -hmm.